Okay, so here's a quick vid of the Fat Shark head tracking into a DS16. Um, down on the bottom of the DS16, I've wired up two ports. One's PPM in, one's PPM out. It's only signal and ground. There's no power connectors on either jack. Uh, but they are stereo jacks. I'm using Attitude V3 Fat Shark goggles, which and the Spectrum to Fat Shark. It's basically Fat Shark head tracker cable to Spectrum uh, Buddy Box cable, which is your standard stereo 3.5. Plug that back in. Sorry. And uh, I've just got a little pair of servos that form a, a pan tilt unit here, uh, wired up to a R9, really simply bound. Um, I'm mapping Fat Shark PPM in channels 7 and 8 onto channels 6 and 7 on the R9 and I'm gonna do a little write-up on how to do all this uh, but basically that's it and what I'm gonna try and do put the camera over here so we can see it in action maybe I'll do this no, that's not gonna work Should have planned this out before the video. <laughs> Transmitter inactive. Now oh, there's our new inactivity alarm, which is a mixed blessing when you're playing with this. But anyways, here's the goggles. I'm gonna plug them in. And you can see the servo. Transmitter inactive. I'll line it up with the table or the alignment of the pan servo. You center both units by clicking this button. Now it's centered. And we've got tilt and pan. So. Transmitter inactive. The jetty. Fat Shark makes 8 channel PPM in, it goes in through the PPM port, which ends up in the PPM sort of switch selections. You map those onto pan and tilt functions, you put those out to the servos you want, and that's it. It's pretty simple. The hardest part is if you're in North America is wiring up the cable inside and even harder than that's finding the connector <laughs> anyways uh, I'll tell you where I got mine later anyways that's it uh, I'll do a, a more detailed write-up uh, later let's uh, zero this again one more run up down left right okay Thanks for watching.